Greetings, my friends. My name is Olivia, but you probably knew that because you clicked on this video. I know this is a little awkward of a place to film, but I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> um, there's a toilet right here and a sink and stuff on <laughs> the other side. And the reason why I am in this bathroom is because it is time to give it a refresh. As you can see, it's pretty boring in here. When we initially moved into the house, this is one of the rooms that I had like the most vision for and we used to have this floor to ceiling wallpaper on this entire back wall and it was really cool and funky and then over the summer when we weren't living here, we didn't have our air conditioning running and it got so hot in the house that the wallpaper peeled off the wall. I will insert a photo of that here. Um, so for the past couple months, it's just kind of been this blank white slate, which is exciting because now we get to do something different with it. So I figured instead of just showing you guys how I redo the bathroom, I thought it would be fun to give myself a little challenge to kind of play off of my last video of refreshing spaces on a budget and try to redesign this bathroom for under a hundred dollars. It's gonna be a little tricky because I like expensive things, what can I say? But I also love thrifty things and DIYs and all that stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys along the process of refreshing this space for under a hundred dollars. All right, first things first, I cannot wear these clothes. I'm gonna change into my paint and clothes. Much better. <laughs> So if you watched my last video, you will have seen that my very number one tip for refreshing any space is just a fresh coat of paint. Clearly this is a nice bright white, so I'm not like redoing this, but since we did have wallpaper on the back wall, I thought it could be fun to instead paint the back wall so we don't have to deal with the peeling again and do something a little darker and moodier. It's different for me, especially for a small space like this, but I'm really excited to try it out. So this is the paint that I decided to go with. It is Portola Paints. They're based in California, but they do ship, um, which is how we got this. And it's a Roman clay. So it gives the wall a really cool textured look and it's applied a little differently you guys will see that in a minute but we were able to order i think one kilo that's how they measure their paints so it was around 20 something dollars i'll keep a little tracker of how much we spent on this project on the screen here so you guys can hold me accountable but i'm very excited to apply this so let's go So as you guys can see, with this paint, you kind of just get a little bit of paint, like that much, on a drywall knife, and you just drag it along the wall. It's a very tedious process. If I was using a roller, obviously I would have been like long done with the wall by now, but this gives it a really cool texture and look, which is what we're going for. This is kind of a little feature wall of the bathroom, and I figured this would spruce it up a bit. So I went with this darker color. I feel like it looks pretty dark on camera and it is right now because it's wet, but it dries a lot lighter. So it's like a, it's a very deep green. It's the Highland color from Portola Paint. Alrighty, my hand is sore, but we finished the first coat. I think it's starting to look so cool. You can see up here, the lighter part, um, well, and the darker part, all of it has started to dry. The lighter part is where I went a little lighter with my like stroke. And then uh, the darker part is where I put it on a little bit thicker. So I'm very excited to see what the second coat looks like tomorrow. However, while this is drying, 
we are going to go out and see if we can find a few pieces that will make this space feel fresh because one of my other big like tips i guess for refreshing a space is to just switch out the little things whether it's like a little vase or your soap dispenser or something anything that can just kind of give it a new fresh look will be very beneficial like i'm obviously not going to replace my mirror or my light fixture just because those are bigger more expensive pieces but i can replace some of the smaller pieces and hopefully stay under budget so we're going to go and hopefully find a little shelf i think maybe hopefully it will look cool to kind of have a little shelf here that i can decorate with some things and then see what else we find Alrighty, it is the next day. I just finished doing the second coat. It's still drying right now, but I think it's looking so cool, especially when you look in the mirror. I just feel like, wow, that looks cool on this sack. But now we're just gonna wait for it to dry, and then we're gonna put up the little shelf. Let me gr grab the board real quick. This is the wood that we ended up getting at Home Depot. Again, I'll put the little calculator amount tracker up there but I thought it was really cool with these knots it's literally just a piece of wood and our plan is to do well I can't really turn it all the way right now but to just do something like that but not diagonally I think the colors will look really good together and give it some warmth just since the small kind of cold space I figured some natural wood tones would warm it up we will style it with some things that we got at the thrift store. See if it all comes together. <laughs> Satisfying. Oh no! <laughs> All right, so we are gonna put the bracing on for the shelves right now. So I'm gonna glue this piece on to the wall because there's no studs to screw into. And then we'll put the piece on the back and set the shelf on top. Cute. Look at that. It's warm. It's inviting. All right, you guys, I think it's just about done. I just finished cleaning up. Everything's all nice and scrubbed down and fresh and painted and it's looking good. And now it is time to style it. <laughs> okay, here is a bunch of stuff I just pulled from around the house and I got this at the thrift store just a little bit ago, so. We'll see if this ends up making a cut. It's really cute. Putting in the same trash can that we had before, but I think it just looks so much better just up against this contrasted wall and things are starting to come together. This is a little tin that I found at Goodwill and it was ugly and then I painted it white and put some pompous grass in it that I foraged. So not expensive things. These are not expensive things, ladies and gentlemen. I have these two different dispensers for lotion. We got matte black and then like a speckled gray and I can't decide which one I like better. 
This I've had for a few years and it was, can you see? Yeah, it was like this pink color. I decided to just paint it with whatever paint I had in the garage and now I think it looks really nice and neutral. So either I'm gonna put it up here or over here. This is the styling process, ladies and gents. It's not glamorous. Found this picture frame at Goodwill for I think $1.50? $1.99, but I think it was half off, so I think it was a dollar. And I really like it, and I think it would look super cute, but I don't have a print for it. So I've put this picture up here instead, which I already had in the house. Actually, all of this I had in the house already, so this was basically free. <laughs> Well, folks, there you have it. The little powder room refresh is complete. If I didn't have to do the second coat of this paint and like wait for it to dry for 24 hours, I feel like this could have been done in one day for sure, probably even one afternoon, depending on how quick you are. But I think it turned out so cozy. It feels so much more inviting, you know, as inviting as a bathroom can be. And I'm just, I love the way it turned out. I feel like when it comes to refreshing spaces and just designing rooms in my house in general, I love to just make every room feel like a room you want to hang out in. Even if it's a bathroom, you just want to make it inviting. And I think that we achieved that with this moodier paint color and then some of these warmer wood tones that we have brought in. So if you are wanting to see the final roundup of how much we spent on this. Here's the drum roll. Here is the total. Obviously we had a lot of things, like I had a lot of these little knickknacks and stuff already lying around. And actually I don't even think we thrifted anything for this space. So it was just the paint in the wood and look at that. A bathroom transformed. I hope this inspires you to do a little refresh of your own. If you do, please tag me on Instagram at Olivia Fields. I would love to see what you come up with. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you like this type of video. Hit subscribe if you aren't a subscriber already because there will be lots more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much and I will see you really soon. Probably, maybe, hopefully. Now I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs>